All right, I'm here with Mr. Ralph A. Clevenger. He's on the faculty here at Brooks Institute, and uh, I want to chat with him about a little picture that a lot of people may have seen that he's done, and that's this guy right here. This amazing shot of this iceberg extending down below the waterline and just all sorts of magic. Now, according to this placard right here, he made this shot a while ago, <laughs> 1999, right? Yeah, yeah, back to 1998. 1998. Yeah. Okay, tell me about the shot. What? Okay, well, it's a, it was shot on film, and it's a composite because there's no way that you can actually see this underwater because of the density of water, your maximum visibility is a couple hundred feet. Yeah. So you can't get back far enough to see something like this. So a mentor of mine, Craig Arness, who owned a stock agency called um, Westlight, um, called me up one day and said, Ralph, I want, to do a, I want to do an iceberg and you got all the parts. So let's get together, talk about it, do the homework, do the research, figure out what this thing's gonna look. And then I'll have my, I'll have my, uh, my Photoshop guys at the, at the agency put it all together for you. Because this, this was created a long time ago. There are, the, the, the size of this file is original file is only 18 megabytes. That That's was a nothing. huge file, man. Back then, yeah. So it's four shots. The sky and the water was taken out here off Southern California. Yep. The top iceberg was shot in Antarctica, and the bottom iceberg was shot in Alaska above water. And then we cut it out and flipped it and put it underwater. Wow. So, and it, there's no color work on this. The, the iceberg was originally that blue, the, the one we flipped, and then the one above, of course, is white. What, uh, so you're in, this is Photoshop, obviously, scanned in from negatives, right? No, from slide. From slide film. Transparency. Okay, so slide, transparency. What, what version of Photoshop were you using to do this in? Like two, <laughs> three? Well, it had to be two. One or two. Something yeah, like I mean, that. It's, yeah. it's early. It's wow. early. And of course, the scans, you know, were also not great at the time. I mean, we had to make large format transparencies. We made dupes and then scanned the large format transparencies. Wow. So multiple generations. To get this stuff. So then the success of this image, I was looking at the placard that's next to it over there. You, according to that placard, this thing has netted over eight hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, like in licensing fees, nine hundred grand yeah, for this shot. How, how do you do that? <laughs> I mean, well, what's well, the I secret? Didn't, I didn't really do it. I mean, Craig Arness, uh, he, he's uh, he's passed away, but he, he was a genius uh, in the stock photo industry, and he just marketed the heck out of it. He put it everywhere, yeah. and it was the only one of its kind. And some big clients, Chrysler picked it up, did full page ads with it, so people started seeing it. And it's so iconic in terms of stock because it, it's so conceptual. What you see is what you know is not what you get. So yeah. It's the concept that literally thousands of different types of clients have been able to use it to represent their message. That's really cool. Yeah, yeah it could it could speak a lot of different mm -hmm. themes, right? Mm -hmm. And there's three versions of it. There's <laughs> There's a, a one vertical and two horizontals. One horizontal has it centered in the middle. One horizontal has it over to the side so that it could do double page spreads and things. Yep. And then it has the vertical that can work on covers. So they, they really are marketed in, in a combined set. Very cool. Yeah. Now, what, what tips would you give photographers for, like if they want to go try to do something like this? Would it, would it be, hey, get on a, sh take a workshop maybe? And, well, and, Go to Alaska and do it? Or well, the compositing part is just the software, you know, it's yeah. learning Photoshop and learning how to do really good, realistic composite. Yeah. Most of, all of my composite work is done so that you don't really know, think about that it's composite. Yeah. So I'm trying to recreate things I've seen or, or want to see yep. that I can't photograph, doesn't exist, the technology, you can't do it with the lenses, whatever it is. So my stuff looks really real. Um, so. But more importantly is it's coming up with the idea, the mm -hmm. concept of how to make a composite real for people rather than just a montage of a bunch of different pictures put together. Yeah. You know, and, so, and so I think you have to get past the technology. Yeah. People have to look at it and go, gosh, it's absolutely beautiful. All right. I, you know, that's, I saw it that way, but I, I've never seen a picture like that. Yeah. So, so workshops in terms of 
how to work with concepts and come up with ideas. And okay, Ralph, so I know you, you lead some workshops, and you've got a couple of workshops coming up. What are those about? Yeah, um, we go to Alaska a lot. Uh, friends come with us. Um, the workshops are pretty, you know, pretty open. Uh, a lot of spouses come who don't do photography. So, so we try and make it just a really great experience, and we've done a lot of research in places. And Alaska is a place that so many people want to go to. The areas we go to are amazing. One of the places that we're going is in Prince William Sound, where there are icebergs and glaciers. Nice. And we're going, we, we found a boat that can get you much closer. You know, it's not like a cruise ship. So it can get you much closer to these things. You can get kayaks and get even, even closer to them. So the experience is incredible. But, you know, that's how you're going to find the components to make these types of, uh, of conceptual composites. Totally. So where, where can people go to, uh, to see this shot that I'm showing here on the iPhone or some of your other work? Well, you can go to my website, uh, www.ralphclevenger.com. Um, this image is on there, um, along with portfolios and workshop information and everything else. All right. Well, cool. All right. Thanks a lot, Ralph. Appreciate okay, you're it. welcome. Thanks.